So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to control Pro Tools completely free. Let's dive right into it. So in that first clip, you saw me control Pro Tools with my second generation iPad. And that's all you really need to do this. If you have a second gen iPad or newer, this will work. If you have the first gen, I'm sorry, it will not work. The other thing you're gonna need is a five gigahertz network. Avid recommends that you use one. You don't need to, you can use a 2.4. That's what I'm using, but we're gonna get to that in a second. So if you have an iPad that's compatible, download the PT controller app. Once you do that, run it. It's gonna ask you to log into your Avid account. You do that. Then you're gonna go to my products. Then you're gonna go to Pro Tools, Control and EU Controls and download the right one for you. In this case, I'm a Windows user, so I downloaded uh, EU Control 3.6 installer for Win, zip. Once that finished downloading, I unzipped it, ran the installer, and now it's time to configure things. As I mentioned earlier, they require a five gigahertz setup. So how do you determine if your router is capable of doing that? Well, if you have a newer router and you bought it within the last year, it's a possibility it might have that option but to be sure, just look at the back of your router. There should be some numbers there. Download the manual, go through it. And if you don't, you can try to set it up with the 2.4 gigahertz. If that doesn't work for you, don't give up. You just need a router that broadcasts at five uh, gigahertz. So I'm gonna log into my router. So I'm gonna go HTTPS. And the reason I'm doing the HTTPS, it's because I uh, remotely connect to my router from the outside world and I generated an SSL certificate using OpenSSL. So that's why I had to do this. Normally, you don't need to do this part. You just need to type in the numbers to your router. So 192.168.1.1, that's all you need to do. If you've never done this before, your passwords are gonna be default. On some Linksys routers, it's gonna be admin, admin. On some Netgears, it's gonna be admin and the password is gonna be password. So it's a crucial thing and very important thing you change those. I am using a custom firmware for my router, which I'm not gonna get into, but this should all be the same. So I'm gonna go to basic and I'm gonna scroll down. And as you can see, my wireless device is currently off because I have multiple routers and this specific router isn't broadcasting Wi-Fi. If you check this out, it says radio band. As you can see, it's 2.4 gigahertz. If I click this, it gives me the option to broadcast at five gigahertz. Like I said, I'm not using it at the moment because I'm using another router. So I'm gonna log out of this and now that we covered that, we can jump right into uh, setting up the PT control. So now that everything's installed, let's open the application. So you're gonna go down right here to your toolbar and you're gonna look for this. EU control, you're gonna double click that and you're gonna make sure you're in this tab, surfaces. Now go ahead and open the PT control application on your iPad and it should automatically find your iPad. There you go. And as you can see, it automatically added my iPad to my surfaces, but if it doesn't, and you only see it here in all surfaces, you wanna just highlight it and add, that's all. Just wanna make sure you see it here. And that's pretty much it. So now we could close this and we're gonna go ahead and launch Pro Tools. Okay, so Pro Tools is open. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do, you're gonna to need to go to Setup, Peripherals, make sure you add this tab, Ethernet Controllers, and you wanna enable Yukon. Once you put that green check, press OK, and let's launch a session and let's see what happens. So if we press play, you're not gonna hear anything because I have everything muted. If I wanted to, I can go turn on input monitoring, I could record, I could change the automations, the left and right. Um, let's see, actually, you, there you go, I put it on touch, read. Let's change uh, the panning. Check this out. So that's pretty cool. Now, if touchscreen isn't for you, I believe they sell a dock for this app. I don't really know too much information about it at the moment, but they do sell a dock and it might be pretty expensive. But if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a control surface, and believe me, I know I have three of them here and I love to mix on these things. It is just fantastic to be able to grab a fader. So if you go to Persona's website, you can check this out, the fader port. It's one fader. Don't let it fool you. This thing is pretty powerful. It's only $129, I believe. Again, don't let that price point fool you. It's actually worth the money. 
So there you go, guys. That's basically the control app for Pro Tools. It's completely free. The only thing you need is basically a second-generation iPad or one of the newer ones and a pretty decent Wi-Fi system. That's all.